guys, welcome to Short Nail Life. Here I do short nail tutorials, sometimes long nail tutorials, nail hauls, nail reviews, and all kinds of nail content. So in today's video, I am doing this very beautiful, simple, elegant set. And here is my thumb, but we're not talking about that. <laughs> I'm going to talk about it later, but it was just an experiment nail. But this nail set is actually based off a set I've already done, and I'm going to pop a picture up here. So this is the set and in that set I told you guys that I felt like I did the ombre badly well not bad like it was a good try but I really wanted to perfect it and I think I did so I'm gonna sh share the tips and tricks that I did on this set and so I'm just excited so let's just begin so to start off here are my nails I just took off my last set maybe a day or two before so I'm not going to take this product off. I do have on Builder Gel, some top coat and base coat. Well, LGN Pro's rubber base coat and top coat, I have that on. And I did flood my cuticle on my thumb a little bit, but I'm going to take that off when I push back my cuticles. So here I'm pushing back my cuticles and I'm doing this very gently. I freak out when I see people push their cuticles back and it's like so rough. Like I can't watch that when people do that. That's just the me thing. It just makes me cringe. So yeah, I am doing it very gently. And like I said, I just removed that part that I flooded the nails. And now I am just going to feather this product. I'm not trying to remove it, like I said. I just want to make texture on the nail, basically. And that's all I did, was just rough up the surface. I didn't go in and do anything else. I didn't really go to the cuticles that much because I knew I was gonna go back in later on and do cuticle work. But yeah, that's all I did. So I'm wiping off my nails now with this brush. And I'm using my swipe. And this is actually causing my nails to live. It is old. I could not figure out why my nails had just started lifting again when I started doing them. And it's because it's old. It's It actually turned clear, so now I know that it's old. I don't use it anymore, but I've had it over a year, so I should have known that. I don't think sometimes, guys. I'm sorry. But I wasn't really thinking about how long I had it. But um, I am going to use these tips, and I hate them. I did haul them at some point. And in that haul, I believe I told you guys not to buy them because they, the case came broken. I hate them first thing they don't have my actual sizes so the thumb was too small and then the rest of the nails were too big and I know you're probably like why didn't you just switch to the tips you like so I love my LGN pro tips they are my favorite they're coffin and when I cut them down to the, the length I need they make the perfect square shape I don't have to do much shaping so those are my favorite tips but they're also super long, so I feel like I'm wasting a lot of product when I do that. But I don't know, I have this little idea that maybe when I cut them down so short, I can then take whatever I have left over and I can just put them on my practice hand. So I'm not wasting so much plastic and hopefully that works for me because yeah, I just felt wasteful with those tips. With These just suck. And those tips just, they're just perfect. I can't tell you how much I really like those for a square shape. And it's just my preference. I know there are some people that like other stuff when it comes to their square shape. But yeah, it's, I hate the other tips. Those were the best ones that worked for me, to be honest. Like, the other tips make my nails look too wide and too bulky. And I'm sorry I'm rumbling on about this. I just hate those these tips right here <laughs> that's all i'm going to say they are flimsy too as well i do need to mention that so when i start shaping these i quickly had to like i was like no i can't shape these on camera i'm gonna go off camera and i didn't shape as well as i usually like to so some of my nails still look wide and bulky because i didn't shape them as well as i like to because they were so flimsy in the beginning so yeah, I don't like these <laughs> these tips. I'm just going to be honest. And so, I don't know why I don't film this sometimes. 
but I always brush off my nails first with a dry brush like this and then I'll take another brush and I'll wipe it off with the swipe which is what I just did and now I'm wiping the nails off again for some reason I'm not sure <laughs> just to make sure I guess all of the dust is off I made a mistake that's what was happening I made a mistake I think I had some product on there so I wiped it off now I'm going to go back in and do my cuticles <laughs> so I'm going to redo all those steps again I just messed up So while I'm just sitting here telling you doing cuticle work, I just want to say I see some people talking about how they don't really want to do their nails so much, but they feel wasteful when it comes to their practice hand to actually do nails on it. And I just, I just wanted to say that I buy products for my practice hand. Um, if you do poly gel, AliExpress has some poly gels for like a couple of dollars, maybe two dollars. If you do gel, I'd use Menelisa. They have builder gel for less than four dollars. I think I pay less than three because I get mine at the 11 11 sale, and of course, I use my coupons. So, there's stuff you can use that you don't have to use your real necessarily really good products if that's how you feel. And I'm just trying to be helpful, I'm not really trying to like say do this or do that. I'm just trying to give you advice because I felt the same way as well. And that's what I kind of had to do was I had to find cheaper alternatives so I could use my practice hand and not feel like I'm wasting my money on all these products. And even gel polish, that's a great way to like do designs because when it comes to gel polish, you're not out of a lot of money. It's just a little bit of gel polish. Um, so yeah, you can use gel polish. There's places on AliExpress that if you want to do rhinestone placements, they have a store on AliExpress that is like less than a dollar and they have glass stones. I have some of their stones. I've hauled some of them so they're in some of my hauls. But um, yeah, they are less than a dollar. You get about 350 stones and they're decent quality. I wouldn't say they're the best, but they are decent. And so yeah, there's like cheaper alternatives. And if you have questions, just let me know because I want to help anybody that just needs help <laughs> because i was completely lost when i first started i'm still a little lost but yeah i don't i don't mind being helpful so if you have questions just let me know because i just want to be helpful i'm just that's it <laughs> so this is my thumb and it looks a mess i know but this was my first time building a nail bed and then doing encapsulated glitter around the nail bed on my own hand and so i couldn't i didn't know like how big to do the nail bed or anything like that so yeah that's why i said this is just an experiment this is practicing this is my first time ever doing that on my nails i don't do permanent designs i usually do just top designs so i'm trying to get more into permanent designs and i am actually testing out i'm sorry i had a whole brain mismap something over here i'm testing out peel off base coats um yeah that's what i was going to say earlier but i probably edited this to make it seem like i did not have this brain fart that took me 10 minutes to figure out peel off break peel off base coat <laughs> but yeah right now i'm building the nails and for the other nails i did put on like this very thin layer of pink just so i would have something to file down to when i do take off the nails even though i do have one base coat and top coat i still wanted that little bit of extra protection so i just built that nail like i usually do i've kind of explained it hundreds of times in a lot of my videos i kind of do like a 3b a 2b method i'm sorry but now i'm just taking some of that base coat from model ones and i am sprinkling some glitter into it this is my glitter base coat i always use this base coat to whenever i'm working with glitters or chromes and i just need it quickly put on top or under it so yeah i will encapsulate with this base coat as well at the end just in case i forget to mention it just so when i do encapsulate with the, my actual good products no glitter is going to be in the good products if that makes sense 
And with this, I'm just going up to a third of the nails on the ombre nails. That's the difference than what I did from last time. I made my ombre a little too low down when it came to the glitter. I just stopped at about halfway point. But what I should have did is like I would did right now. I should have took it higher. So I like this so much better. I also like encapsulating the glitter into the concealer pink. I don't know. I just love the way that looks. But I'm pressing the glitter down and I'm moving glitter where I need it to go. I'm trying to make sure I got rid of all the chunks because I don't want anything poking out before I encapsulate. And right here I am putting base coat, like I said, on top, making sure everything is really well into the nail. So when I do this, there's no glitter getting into my product. So I just did a slip layer and then I'm going to take a bead and I want to float it to the cuticle. I really don't worry about an apex at this time because I can always build one when I do my clear layer. But I actually did manage to build one in this. So what I do is once I build this as well to where I want it to go, I go and wipe off my brush on a clean palette. And then I kind of drag the dry brush into the polish down. Not polish, I'm sorry, gel down. And that creates my ombre. And so now I'm just encapsulating the bottom with some clear gel and this is from young nails as well this is a clear builder it's more of a runnier consistency so you really do have to work a little faster with this and i don't know if you can see what i was talking about when it comes to the ombre like it's in the perfect spot for me i feel like i really did accomplish that and you can see a little bit of the glitter shifting under the nail I love that. I got that from Nails by Vic, and I think I'm probably going to always do that. I just love the way it looks with the glitter. It's just so pretty to me. But you can sprinkle the glitter on top if you don't like that on the bottom. But it's perfect. <laughs> and so now I'm shaping these nails. And I love the shape on all of them. I'm going to be honest. This middle one is my problem finger. I hate it so much it just kept looking bulky to me and i feel like it's because i did not pre-file the nails the way i like to pre-file them and then i had put glitter and then i encapsulated so some my i'm gonna be honest my encapsulated nails are always bulkier than my regular nails because i don't want to file into the design but i've gotten good at disguising that when i do do that so i'm not too worried about it but yeah, it, it was filed to as thin as possible. Because I'm not going to lie, I did hit some glitter at some point on that nail. But it still just, it did not look right. And I don't know what I did wrong on that middle nail. But it was a beautiful design, so I can't complain. It looked pretty. I got compliments on it, so I'm not going to complain. Oh, I'm using a 5-in-1 drill bit, and I'm using it at about 8,000 RPMs. I'm not trying to go too high up because I'm not trying to create bulk. I'm not trying to create these craters or anything in the nail. I'm not trying to get rid of layers. I'm literally just trying to make a smooth surface. So when I hand file like I'm doing now, it's already smooth. I'm just trying to get things more into place. Now I'm buffing. I do like to buff my nails because I told you guys I do not like color near my cuticles. I've tried. It just does not work for me. Uh, it bugs me. I actually can wear it on one nail. I'm not going to lie. I can wear it on one nail. But when it comes to all my nails, no. It's, it's a no. I can do two at the most. But one, I would prefer just one and not all. So now I'm going to cut this flower into a small square and I'm going to apply it with this foil gel. And I did cut, like I said, I cut slits inside of this, but I did not cut them high enough. 
So when I applied the sticker, I put it in the wrong spot. Then it's touched the nail before I could adjust it to where I wanted it to go. And then I ended up ripping it a little bit. So I just said, forget it. And so I just started smoothing it out. And because it didn't cut, because it didn't lie where I cut those slits, it ended up not being as flat as it would have if it had landed in that spot. And I'm just showing you, I do cut this and then I get some cuticle nippers and I clip it as well but I didn't want to show that because I feel like it might on this platform it might be a, a no so yeah I didn't show myself doing that so I matted these nails out if you can see I thought I wanted them matte and then I changed my mind after I did this nail so they will just magically become shiny I did not feel myself putting top coat on I don't know if I did and I accidentally cut the footage I'm not sure what happened but yeah I'm using LGN bling gel and I'm going to just put my bling on and this is my homemade kit I actually didn't mean to put that diamond on the nail it's two different sizes in that one and I actually meant the smaller one but that's what came up so that's exactly what I guess I was meant to do I'm putting a size 10 in the middle, then I go to a size 8, then I go down to a size 6 on the those two sides. I believe this size right here is a 3. I skipped the 4 and went straight to a 3. And that wasn't tacky, which is what I was doing. I put more glue on there off camera. And then I do a three at the bottom of that rhinestone as well. And you guys know I can't have bling without caviar beads. I'm just not that person. I love my caviar beads. They are a headache and a half. I say it all the time. But I just, I cannot have bling without them. They just make the nails look so much like jewelry, and I just love that aesthetic. I do love them without caviar beads too, but for me, I have to have them. But right now, I'm just putting cuticle oil on, and I've already top coated with LGN Pro top coat, I believe. I don't think I use the young nails in today's video, but this is how they turned out, and I think they're so beautiful. This is how the thumb turned out, and like I said, I was experimenting so it's really not a part of the video just this and i love it they look so elegant they look bridal almost like it's just a simple look that you could just do when you wanted just a simple nail i just love these so thank you guys for joining me please feel free to like comment and subscribe i want to thank you for watching the video have an amazing day bye guys